In today's video, we are going to be comparing WordPress and Wix and find out which is best for you. Coming up. Now you may have noticed on YouTube that there's quite a lot of videos about Wix and how, is, how easy it is to build a website. Pretty much they show a drag and drop and uh, it's very, very easy to create a website. Now this may be tempting because when you take a look at that, you'll be thinking, wow, you know what? I don't have any web design skills. So if I just go in and design a website, uh, that way really fast, that's to solve my problem. Now, here's the thing. What a lot of people don't realize is when you use a hosted system like Wix, Squarespace, and so on, they own the design, it's proprietary to them. So when you leave and when you decide to have your website hosted somewhere else, you leave with nothing. So that design that you have uh, put together on Wix, you can't leave with that design. It stays with the company. And this is what a lot of people don't realize. So that's their proprietary um, software that's used to design that layout. So another case is, let's say your website gets very, very popular. It's growing fast and you're having a lot of uh, subscribers. I mean, a, a lot of viewers. You may want to upgrade your hosting and this is where now those hidden costs starts coming up. It's, it starts getting very, very expensive and it's there's pretty much nothing that you can do in order for you to have your, uh, to make this cost effective. Now let's take a look at um, our funnels to income system here. Now you notice that it's very important here to have a blog. Now this blog, I, I didn't go ahead and specify that it needs to be a WordPress blog, but anyway, it has to be WordPress. And over here, you notice that we have courses, affiliate marketing, uh, coaching, I should also have added their e-commerce whereby you can sell your physical uh, products. Now, when you use a service like Wix or Squarespace, it's very difficult to upgrade your website to these extra services because the website has a way that it runs. I know they have e-commerce on there, but it's you're very, very limited in terms of upgrading your website to add more services. So let's say you have a website and you want to add some booking on there. With WordPress, you can just go in a booking plugin or you can just use one of the free ones and that you know, job done. So in WordPress, the plugins, and there's a lot of them, hundreds of thousands of these plugins, they do a fantastic job of enhancing your website and adding more features to your website. Now, some of these are premium, they're paid. So for example, let's say you want to build your website and you, and then a year later you decide, you know what, I want to sell courses on my website. Well, that's easy. You can just download or buy a plugin like um, LearnDash, set it up on your website, and now you're running your courses. And let's say you want to uh, do affiliate marketing. Again, you can just add uh, all the features that you need for affiliate marketing and your website is up and running. Now I can go on and on and give you even more examples here. So let's say you want to set up some funnels on your website and build a mailing list. You can do this with WordPress easier. There's uh, plugins like Cartflows and also MailPoet. These are plugins that you can use within WordPress and expand your website and have more features. So this is the power of using WordPress. So back over to uh, Wix. Now let's take a look here at uh, their pricing. So over here you can see uh, for a basic website, uh, it's $8.50 a month. Now this $8.50 here, you can actually use this $8.50 to host your own website with a hosting company and you will take care of or you own all the content that you have. Now, the reason why I'm talking about ownership here is because WordPress is free and open source. So you can use it as many times as you want. You can build as many websites as you want. It doesn't cost you a thing. And this WordPress software comes with these hosting companies. So that software is free and that is why I am talking about owning your own content. Whereas if you look at Wix, they designed a platform for their business that allows people to go in and design things on there, but it is not free and open source. So that's where the trick is. So over here on WordPress, everything is all free. And even if you buy plugins or themes like Divi, for example, if you buy Divi, that license pretty much is like you owning 
how Divi works. So you pay a one-off fee or you pay a yearly fee and that's it. Now you have your own drag and drop system that allows you to build professional looking websites. So this is the power of, of uh, things over to the WordPress side of things. Now I talked about the feature limitations whereby if you want to upgrade your website and add extra features, that will be very, very, very difficult to do. In fact, it's impossible. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So over here, you can see here they have different uh, monthly uh, subscriptions. If you come over now to business and e-commerce, you can see now the price uh, gets higher. And also over here, you can see that you're limited to your storage as well. So if you have, uh, let's say, a lot of content, then you're going to be in trouble here when it comes to your storage, whereby if you, are, if you have your own hosting, you can just upgrade your hosting and use a specific hosting that works for you. And definitely the hosting is... Uh, cheaper than what you can see here for a basic WordPress website. Okay, so moving on, these are monthly payments. And of course, we can compare this with the hosting and uh, it's also monthly. And of course, if you can, you know, you can choose to pay to pay yearly. So these hosted platforms are, you know, a disadvantage if you want to really, really grow your business. And also, let's talk about support. Yes, they may provide support at, uh, when you're getting started and building up your website. But if you take a look at uh, WordPress, there's a lot of tutorials out there that teach you how to put things together. In fact, I have a free WordPress course. Uh, the link to that is in the video description below. So if you want to get started and learn how to design websites with WordPress, I have a link uh, in the video description below where you can go and pretty much learn how to design uh, websites with WordPress. So this may be a limitation here as well when, uh, when it comes to support because now you only have to rely on one company to provide the support. Whereas with WordPress, I mean, there's a ton of videos all over the internet that show you, I mean, how to do each and every, you know, item that you can ever know because WordPress has been out there for a very, 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 very long time. Okay, so uh, moving on, I just want to go back to the ownership because uh, this part here is uh, key to succeeding online. So as I mentioned earlier on, if you are hosting your content with say Wix or Squarespace, yes, when things are okay, you may feel like, hey, you know what? Nothing's gonna happen. I'm good with these companies. But when you decide to move your content from that platform to another, you're not going to get the layout itself. So how your pages are structured, pretty much you don't get that. Uh, the best way to move out of those platforms or the only way rather is to copy the text and paste it onto WordPress and uh, design it that way. So you'd have to design the website from scratch because they don't give you the formula that makes that website work. So they don't give you the formula or the menu that makes that website on Wix or Squarespace work. And that's why it is a disadvantage. Now, there are quite a lot of things that are uh, positive things that I can say about this but the positives don't outweigh the negatives. So yes, you can have a system like this where you can just drag and drop and build a basic website, but it pretty much ends there. If you want to expand your website and add more features, basically you're done. You can't really add those extra features because it's a closed platform. And unlike WordPress, you don't have plugins which you can add in and add more functionality. And as I mentioned on, earlier on, yes, you do have e-commerce capability, but it's limited. If you take a look at WooCommerce, it has so many features that you can add in there, payment gateways, and even the design of actual page. You, you can design it however you want. Now, talking about design, Again, you are also limited to how the base of the structure of the platform actually works. So when it comes to uh, say WordPress, you can start off, let's say with Divi. And if you feel like, you know what? I don't like using Divi to design my website. I wanna use another page builder like Elementor or whatever it is or Breezy. You can just change and move on to a different uh, page builder and design your websites that way. Whereas with Wix, you're stuck with that particular builder and pretty much that framework that you have is what you have. You can't, you can't really design outside that. So these are the reasons why you may want to move and or rather start off with WordPress without going for these platforms which host the websites for you. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you. I'm sure I've given you tips and ideas or perhaps maybe you have actually learned from what I've shared with you. If you have any experiences with Wix, Squarespace and those hosted platforms, please let me know in the comments box below because that helps the community and uh, just letting everyone know how these platforms work. All right, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.